All right, in order to move forward with the discussion on the kingdom of God, I think we need to go backwards a little bit. Because when Jesus and John the Baptist came proclaiming the kingdom of God, it wasn't in a vacuum. You know, as I mentioned in the first video, for some who have not heard about the kingdom of God, not heard a lot of teaching much, it may sound kind of strange, but for those who were listening to this message, they would know exactly what Jesus and John were talking about. They would know that the people of Israel were called to be just that, a kingdom where God ruled them. You know, in fact, whenever you look back at Exodus, you see Jesus, God's desire, excuse me, that Israel would be a kingdom of priests unto God. Even going all the way back to Abraham and Abraham's calling that and God told him that there would be a great nation birthed out of him, we can learn some really good principles from just that you know, calling, particularly that when he said that this nation would be birthed from him, he said that it would be a nation that would bless all the nations of the earth. And so one of the first principles we can kind of think about is God's kingdom is not a kingdom just for ourselves, right? I think that there is that temptation to have a hyper focus on me as an individual or ourselves and think of what does the kingdom of God mean for me? Whenever, whenever God originally talks to Abraham, he's saying this nation will be for others, the idea is that there would be a people of God that would live under the rule of God. And as they lived under the rule of God, they would show the nations, they would show the world what it looks like to live in deep relationship with God and under his rules. They would show the world a different and new way to live. And we hear Jesus teaching, we hear him saying things like, you are a city on a hill, you know, you are a light, don't, don't put it under, you know, a bushel, like, let your light shine, meaning that this thing, this thing of the kingdom of God, this new way to live that, that, that is birthed in the kingdom of God would be for others. And y'all, in the world this day and age, sometimes I sound like I feel like an old man when I say stuff like this. But people are struggling to live. Like here in America, suicide, depression, like these things are serious. They're very serious and they're at an all time high. And you and I, as members of the kingdom of God, get to kind of, not kind of, we get to meet this like head on. We have the opportunity to show people what it looks like to live under God's rule. And no, that doesn't mean it's always going to be easy. No, it doesn't mean that we're not going to have struggles. Jesus told us, of course we're going to. Of course we're going to have sufferings. But there is something different in the hope that we have and the way we get to live through those. The new perspective that we have as we're going through the things that we suffer. You see that with Jesus. You see that with Paul. You see that with Peter. You see that all throughout the scriptures that we get to have that different perspective. You know, we might be able to show people what it means when Jesus says, if you want to follow me, you know, deny yourself, pick up your cross. In a culture that's saturated with you, 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 or me, 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 me. Jesus had this totally different message that actually said, deny yourself. Maybe that's one of the reasons I'm convinced that, that we struggle is there's such a hyper focus on the individual and me, me, me. That I don't even know how to struggle to love, to, to, to care and to think about others. And maybe that's some of the struggles that we have when Jesus says, if you want to be first, you must be the servant. You know, when we think, you know, maybe about going to a, a club or whatever, and there's a VIP section with celebrities or with those who are wealthy, they're being served drinks and food, whatever they want. We may think that is the ideal life, right? And yet if we were in that same room with Jesus, he would point at the waiters and waitresses and say, those are greater in the kingdom of God, those who are actually serving. If we can live out this new way to live through the kingdom of God, there's a lot that we can show the world.